Hi, welcome to Fishing the Edge. Well, the sun's coming up, the swell's pumping, it's time to go and try and catch a snapper the old fashioned way, or a way a lot of people still catch snapper, and that's to get a burly trail happening, throw a few cubes out, feed a bait back, and hopefully catch one. Got myself a block of pillies, just a matter of finding a really good piece of reef, being a bit patient, get that burly down, and hang on, and you never know, we might get ourselves a really nice snapper. What we need to do now is get that anchor in. We've uh, worked out where we want to fish. We need to get up current, upwind, let that boat come back on the anchor rope, get back onto our GPS mark, back on where we've sanded out and found a bit of good ground, get that cube trail happening, and hopefully we'll get a few snapper up. Well, burling and, and uh, using burly or cubes to, to catch fish has been around a long time, so nothing too hard about that. Caught a bit of fr fresh bait. I've got a Mac tuna here. I've got a few pillies as well. So the idea is we'll knock the side off the, off the old uh, Mac tuna here, which is fantastic bait, also makes for great cubes as well. So I'll cut a few baits out of that. And what you can do is also is it cut a few cubes as well. And just start that cube trail going. So much the same as if you're cubing for tuna or something. They throw one in, let that slowly sink away. Have a look at the direction your cube trail's going. And maybe you can throw another one back up current and then as that one disappears just pop the next one in. The idea is to get that snapper to come along, get into that burly trail and eventually find your bait. Using overhead tackle here, this is a 6600 Brute on a nice drop shot rod. And I can leave that in free spool with my thumb and just feed that out nice and slowly and let it sink down without any, any weight on it so it appears like a natural piece of food floating down uh, in, into the, in towards the bottom and the snapper can swim up and grab that. Also put the ratchet on, leave it in the rod holder, that'll stop it from getting any overruns and certainly wake me up if we get a bite, that's for sure. start getting closer to that tide change it's the first decent run I've had and that's a beautiful a beautiful squire or a, or a juvenile snapper whatever you want to call it but uh, in anyone's language if you're going to eat one that's certainly the size and, and uh, that's a beautiful fish so that's a good start hopefully uh, as those cubes continue to go down that trail we can uh, we can lure some bigger ones in as well awesome Once you catch a few fish, don't lose focus to the job. You've got to keep those cubes just slowly trickling away. So every time you look at the board there, pick another one up, throw it in, and, uh, and that'll keep the fish hanging around. Doesn't hurt while you're cubing to put down a bottom bait, so I'm just on a little pattern on the rig here. Butterfly to yellowtail and put him down on the bottom there. And oh, I was busy with another rod. It gets quite busy sometimes cubing, and I've had a bit of an inquiry, and I've got Nice little Samson fish, actually. Oh, he? I'll get him up. There he is. Nice little Sambo. He's such a pretty fish, these fish. And uh, yeah, that's a nice little bonus while I've been, been cubing away. There's not a lot of current here at the moment, so cubes are going pretty well straight up and down, so it doesn't hurt to have a suspended bait on a Paternoster style rig. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Get that sun on him. Sun's getting low, the colours are just magnificent. So, all right, I better keep throwing some more cubes if I can't get that snapper I'm chasing. And I'm tight. <laughs> That's what you love to do. Oh, it's hard sometimes you think to yourself, oh, how much lime will I let them take? And, and really, that's it's a decision you've got to make each time. But I think that fish had, had a pretty good go at it. and. Uh, it was a bit like a, I'm not too sure. Could be another Samson fish or a snapper, we'll, we'll soon see anyway. Beautiful little 
Fluger overhead rod I'm using, which matches in with this Abu reel really, really well. And just a, just a pleasure to use nice tackle, and I'm lucky I can do that. Here we go. And it is a nice little snapper. So the cubes are starting to work. And the snappers come in and eat my Mac tuna there. Once again, if you if you want to take a snapper to eat, that's the perfect size. Beautiful little fish. All right. A nice fish. It's all happening. It's a beautiful time of day to be on the water, there's no doubt. And those cubes are doing their trick. The oil's coming out of the fish. The scent's getting in the water. It's feeding time for a lot of fish, certainly this time of the day, as that sun gets low, the light gets low. Snapper love those low light conditions. And it's a great time to catch a big one and let it go, or, or catch a few little ones and keep a feed. And I think I've got another beautiful little snapper there, which is just a beautiful size. Look at that. You've been watching Fishing the Edge. We've been cubing some snapper and sambos and other bits and pieces. I've, uh, I've got enough light for one more cast, so I'll uh, get this fish back in the water and I'll catch you next time. See ya.